We are here with TTX Women's Basketball seniors Paige Parrish, Bree Smith, Catherine Frost, Jesse Pittman, and Kaylee Landry. And ladies, what brought you here to Concordia? And just talk about what your overall experience has been like. Well, I know for me, I transferred in uh, after my sophomore year from University of Texas at Tyler. And it was kind of a weird situation because I had already achieved a lot of individual success, but I knew the team that I was in at the time would never get to where I wanted to be, like, in the postseason or anything. And so, I mean, I came to Concordia on my visit and kind of got swayed by the rainbow charm. And uh, he won me over, and I just saw how – how close-knit the group of girls were, and I had never really understand the concept of family outside of my own family, but I really got how, like, they all kind of worked together and they held each other accountable, and that was really important for me. Uh, I actually got here before Coach Rainbow was here, but sticking, seeing what he was about and learning from him is what really kept me around, and also the campus. Once I stepped on campus, I absolutely fell in love with it. It's in a great location in Austin. And it's just the environment here is something I wouldn't rather have anywhere else. Um, I actually came from two different colleges. Um, first, I went to Incarnate Word, um, where there wasn't a lot of relationship uh, between uh, the players and the coaches. Um, and then I went to TLU, but I didn't play there. Um, and then I knew Coach uh, Rohr, and he invited me to come out here and check out the campus. Um, I really liked it. Um, I got to know some of the players, um, and I really enjoyed the family atmosphere that they provided here, um, as well as developing Christian leaders. Um, I think that has really um, sparked a lot of uh, where I'm kind of going in the future. Well, I transferred in from Temple Junior College, and be, uh, being a transfer is hard because you're used to just a diff different program than what it is here. But when I was there, I did uh, have a lot of success as a team, but no individual success. And I just felt like a number there. And I kind of lost my love for the game. And honestly, after my sophomore year, I didn't want to play until I met Coach Rainbow. He came to one of my games, we started talking. I went to campus for one time, and I committed that day. And I wanted to play for him for the rest of my career. And you know, he's just been amazing, and like a father, father figure in my life that I never really had. And, it's just a great campus, and I just really love it here. I also transferred, just like all the rest. I came from McMurray. I was with Coach Rainbow, and I found out he was leaving, and I knew I did not want to stay there, so I followed him and came to Concordia with him. We looked at the program and knew that there was there was not a lot of hope here for the program. They really didn't make the, the never made the conference tournament. They were kind of in a hole, and so I knew Brent with co coming with Coach Rainbow that he would be able to turn it around. So over these past few years, it's just amazing to watch what he's done to this program and turn it around. And uh, sort of building out just what Kaylee said, you know, this was a, before Coach Rainbow came and before you guys came, this was a pro, um, you know, program that was, you know, mediocre at best and, and also it hadn't even been in the conference tournament since 2005 and um, you guys transformed it, um, not just transformed it really quickly, winning, you know, a conference championship last year and then uh, very close to doing it again this year. Um, did you guys expect to you know, transform the program the way you did and for it to happen this fast? I definitely think so. I think he definitely had a way to get everyone bought into the same to the same goal. Like, you know, at the beginning of the season, everyone wants to win a ring, but, like, everyone – he made everyone realize that I have to do this job perfectly and that's what's going to help, not me going out and scoring or me going out and doing this. Like, he helps people realize, like, what they're good at and – that's what really helps every aspect of the team win. And also building off the page, I know when his first year here, he had a mindset that we were going to win the conference championship, even though it was his first year here. He didn't care. He said he was turning around and we were going to win immediately. So having that mindset coming in, I think it helped people build on it. We obviously didn't get in the first year by one game, and he was really upset, so was everyone else. But we just had high expectations starting from the beginning. Uh, kind of what Paige said, I think, well, and Kaylee, about high expectations. Um, that's what Coach Rainbow has. Um, and I think that when you can focus on what um, an individual does well um, and maybe not trying to do too much, um, just perfect what you do well and um, do that on the court, then I think uh, you can build a successful team. And that's kind of what we've done. 
Uh, one thing you've also gotten is a lot of you know support from the uh, community uh, through particularly the Adopted Tornado program that uh, Coach Rainbold instituted. Just talk about one of you. Just talk about what that program is, and then just if you guys want to feed off this, uh, what it's meant to all of you. So the Adopted Tornado program is something we do every year. It reaches out to the community, the professors. They adopt us like we're their own child. Uh, we go out to eat lunch with them. We go see them every day, walk by. It's just a cool experience to get involved in because they act like a family away from home, which is what our team is all about, is family. So they're there for us. We talk about them before each game. They're allowed in the locker room afterward. It's just really neat to have someone look after you every day and make sure you're doing fine. And it's really helped build a sense of community and help bridge a gap between athletics and academics. And it, I've really built a lot of relationships between my professors and even uh, faculty and staff on campus, and it's just been great to be a part of. And a question for all of you. How has everything um, here at Concordia, basketball, academics, you, you, Coach Rainbolt's role, uh, prepared you for whatever your next step's going to be? <laughs> I think it, for, as far as preparing me, we've gone through a lot of stuff, and it's really kind of helped build who we are and how we're going to react to certain situations and how you're going to react to adversity and it's just kind of put us in situations to help us react the right way. Yeah, I definitely know these last two seasons have been the hardest things I've ever done. I was used to being like a lazy person and it's taught me like I can actually work hard, like things that I've never thought I could do I've done, like rebound. And it sounds like something so small but you realize once like you get later in life that those small things like have prepared you for those moments and that like you can be successful if you really want to. Also I think like playing basketball it teaches you certain life situations and just with Coach Rainwald there's some points where we've all felt like we should we were gonna break and we didn't because he has helped us push past that point so this could help you later on in life when you face adversity with whatever situation it is to keep going. And uh, what do all of you want your legacy to be as you close this chapter in your life? I hope my legacy is that I've left a sense of leadership on and off the court and just how to handle certain situations, and whether or not it should be public or private, and just how to manage yourself. I think we have like pretty big shoes to fill as seniors this year, and I hope that following us, like people, like the later generations will have enough respect for us like we did our seniors to like not diminish that and when things start going bad think back to the legacy that we built and say we're not we're going to protect that we're not going to let it go um i think a legacy that i want to leave is just having a uh, great respect for a academics and uh on the court as well and having leadership like Bree said and like Paige said just you know leaving a legacy for our younger younger kids just to look back and think like, I can do that for our seniors you know because they did that for us. Uh, Coach Rumble always says um, I can remember him always saying uh, that it's not going to be easy but it'll be worth it um, and I think that's like a good overall lesson uh, just a life lesson that things you go through um, you know they're not always going to be easy but if you can you know persevere and continue to work through it um, that it will be worth it and you'll learn a lot through it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.